The power of radio is in your hands. You can play. You, you, you can pause. Rewind. You can download. It's Vikilonia Radio. Solely for your listening pleasure. You are listening to your number one online edutainment radio. Hey you, wake up, get dressed, step out, head high, walk in, sit down, legs crossed. Ready? Now, smile and let's talk money. Want to make more money? Want some help with business and brand development tips? Then tune in every Monday at 12 p.m. for The Big Money Talk Show to get all that you need to survive in the corporate business world. Exclusive to Vicky Lonia Radio, your number one online edutainment radio. The Big Money Talk Show. Let's talk money. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Vicky Lonia Radio Station, your number one online education and entertainment radio station and a very exciting one at that. You are tuned in to the Big Money Talk Show. It's been anticipated and it's going to be what every minute of your time. It's a Big Money Talk Show where we talk about money, we talk about how to make it, how to spend it, how to make it make more money for you. Today is our debut, this the very first episode. And we'll be talking today about a very, very interesting topic. We're talking today about five top entrepreneurial skills that entrepreneurs whether existing or would be entrepreneurs need to possess the fact they must possess in order for them to be successful in the field of entrepreneurship and uh, without much ado without wasting of time we're going to kick right in top five entrepreneurial skills of the 25th century Diamond Mobile app has been upgraded with awesome new features like Isuzu, which helps you save with your friends in groups or save by yourself. It also includes a self-service feature where you can adjust your transfer limits, request debit cards, and many more. With over 2 million users on board, Diamond Mobile is really going beyond banking. Diamond, your bank. Uh, let me just explain the reason why we started the Big Money Talk Show by talking about entrepreneurship because we know that the richest guy in the world today is an entrepreneur. He's not an employee. <laughs> he, uh, Jeff Bezos of this world, the owner of Amazon, and a lot of other billionaires out there. In fact, um, I, I, don't, I don't think any of the top 100 richest people in the world are uh, employee in any company. They are all entrepreneurs. So the big money guys are the big business guys and they're the big entrepreneurship guys. So, and one of the reasons why Big Money Talk Show was established was to inspire people to get into entrepreneurship to get into being business owners and to create much more opportunities for Nigerians and for Africans and for people, young people all over the world. So today we are talking about top five entrepreneurship skills that you can possess. First of all, let's talk about passion, passion, passion. A lot of businesses today started, a lot of entrepreneurial ventures started because of passion. Passion, what is passion? Passion is a burning desire. Passion is, it's, um, is, is, is a fire. It's like a fire burning in the chest and the heart of every entrepreneur out there to do something exceptional, to do something different, to come up with something unique, to come up with an, uh, an idea or to, to, to modify an existing idea of solving an existing problem. Entrepreneurs have this passion to do something out of the ordinary, that, that is apart from the ordinary. Ordinary people will look and just pass by and say, what can we do about it? But entrepreneurs will look and say, I can do something about it. As long as I'm here, I can do and I need to do something about it. I'm going to do something about it. And that's how we see a lot of uh, passionate entrepreneurs start up. In fact, if you get into entrepreneurship because of money, if I, if, 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 a lot of people will tell you, and I will also tell you that a lot of people who got into businesses and bounce out of it almost immediately or after a year or two, it's mostly wasn't it, it was out of curiosity or out of uh, uh, greed to make money they didn't really have the passion to get into it at first and that's why you see a lot of people get into and get out of entrepreneurship like a rat that ran into a hole and discovered that uh, 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 there is a snake waiting there you know you run it as fast as you're running so um passion is something that will wake a lot of entrepreneurs in the morning a lot of entrepreneurs don't need an alarm clock to wake up by five or four o'clock every morning once it's that time, passion wakes them up. Passion tells them it's time to work, it's time to create something exceptional, it's time to schedule your day, it's time to start up while others are sleeping. Passion is very, very important. Um, having said that, um, once the passion dies down, an entrepreneur or his entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial venture 
goals on a downward spiral. That's just sure. Having said that, let's look at the next thing on our list. Creativity. Creativity is the ability to look at things in a broader kind of sense. You see, you, you see something more than the ordinary person will see something. The creative person will see water and start thinking about 10 different ways, 20 different ways, 30 different ways of creatively utilizing water. Okay? So, a lot of businesses that are booming today started because their founders were very creative persons. They were really creative persons. In fact, a lot of businesses that are booming today did not even start as the original businesses. They were not the original. The, the people that made the businesses big were not the original. They, they didn't get an original idea. It was just the fact that they got this. They looked at a problem that already had solutions, solution of solutions, and they thought about, okay, what's a more creative way? What is a, creative, a better creative way that we could use to solve this problem or to, or to provide a service? And you see them come into business and start to even overtake the people who even had the original idea. So creativity is very, very paramount. It's a very, very important part of business. Um, and any company that does not have creative directors, does not have creative uh, uh, CEO or creative directors, of course, will not go far. It's, it's, creativity is not, it's not just inborn. People can learn to be creative. People can, can learn to be creative, actually. So if you're an entrepreneur and you think that you're not really getting it right, you could, there are ways that you could use to improve your creativity, sharpen your creative mind. And you find out that you're coming up with ideas. You know, take some time off out of the whole busy thing. Take some time off, you know, think and grow with, you know, look for silent places, stay meditate. And you see that a lot of things will start flowing. So creativity is very, very important. Next on our list is open-mindedness. Open-mindedness is, is really, really important for entrepreneurs. It's very, very key. Um, uh, some entrepreneurs like Jeff Bezos of the world, like uh, the founder of Apple, uh, Steve Jobs, a blessed memory. Yeah. Some of them got their ideas of the big businesses they started out of being just open-minded, you know, going out on a casual trip and, you know, writing business ideas as they flow in while they're traveling and having fun, you know. Uh, uh, entrepreneurs are not as rigid as a lot of people think of them to be. Entrepreneurs are very open-minded. They know what the goal is, or they know that the goal can be set, but then the method of achieving it can always be fine-tuned. Because every entrepreneur knows something, they know that wherever there is a way, there can be a better way. So wherever, they, you have to note that, you know, note it, wherever there is a way, there is a better way. So when you see a lot of businesses have phased out, some businesses that existed in the 90s, for instance, phased out as we entered into the first 10 years of 2000s because of what the founders of those businesses could not come to terms with the digital dimension that the world was entering. They thought that the digital dimension of business was a scam, was just something that would be shortened. But they didn't know that digital was the future of the world. So um, a lot of businesses are crashed out because the founders, the owners, the entrepreneurs that started them with genuine passion could not have the open-mindedness to keep those businesses in the market. You have to open your mind and of course you have to understand that you, are, you will never be the smartest mind out there. That's why uh, companies pay people, pay sharp minds to come, come in and come up with better ideas, sometimes even crazy ideas, just to be in the business of entrepreneurship. So um, open-mindedness is very important. You must have an open mind. You must be willing to understand that team called change is always there. There will always be change. And if you're not really ready to move in, in tune with the times, then you're not ready to stay in business with time. And you're not ready to stay in business for a long time. If you're not ready to stay in tune with the times, you can take note of that. As an entrepreneur, if you're not ready to stay in tune with the times, you're not ready to last in business for a long time. So that's that. Um, next thing we're talking about is discipline. Discipline, 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 discipline. Of course, yeah, passion can start up a business. Talent can start up a business. You can start up a business because you are talented in that field. But talent cannot keep you in business for a long time. It can't. Passion cannot keep you in business for a long time. Being open-minded is good, but it can't keep you in business for a long time. Discipline, discipline, the ability to propel yourself, to, to, to curtail excesses, to have goals and go for them, discipline yourself and go for those goals and walk towards them, achieve them, mark them as achieved. The ability to schedule your day and not allow flimsy excuses and distractions to come and take the place of much more important things in your business is very, very important 
if your business is going to last for more than the first five years. Discipline is important. A lot of entrepreneurs have gone out of business because of lack of discipline. They want to use every new gadget in town, so they spend excessively. They want to look so fashionable all the time. Uh, and, and they don't take a cue from guys like Mark or guys like Bill Gates. They, they want to look very fashionable, so they spend excessively on clothing. They, they, as long as they are in entrepreneurship, they, they are moved by every distraction that comes their way. They can't you know, stay uh, 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 out of out of some kind of circles for some time and focus on the business to see it grow. So discipline is very, very important. It's very, very key for businesses that have lasted hundreds of years. It is by discipline. They are built systems and they are disciplined. Everyone that has come their way to follow that those set of systems, those set of laid down visions and missions for the company and they have kept the business going. So discipline is very, very important. Very, very important for entrepreneurs to possess. Uh, right now, I still want to remind you, in case you've been saying girls in our talk here, um, this is Vigilonia Radio, your number one education and entertainment radio station. And uh, this is, of course, the Big Money Talk Show. The Big Money Talk Show is where we talk about money, is where we talk about means of making money, means of generating multiple multiple sources of income and solving problems for the world also and you know and the core of this program goes around entrepreneurship but it's not just for entrepreneurs everyone is a potential entrepreneur of course and even working for someone there's something that's called corporate or corporate entrepreneurship being an entrepreneur having entrepreneurship in your mind while working for others so this is it this is it we've been on for a couple of minutes now and we're gonna take a little break a short break and we'll be back do you know that you can advertise your business and brand to thousands of listeners on Vicolonia Radio? Oh yes, and at a very, very cheap and affordable rate. For as low as 1,000 Naira, you can advertise with us. Simply call us on 081-3936-3906. On Vicolonia Radio, we give a new life to your business. Yes, yes, people. Once again, this is Vicky Lonnie Radio Station and this is Big Money Talk Show. And uh, today, remember our topic has been five top entrepreneurial skills or habits that entrepreneurs need to possess. And we've listed so far, we've talked about passion, creativity, open-mindedness and discipline. And to round up the show today, we'll be talking about interdependence, the ability to be interdependent. You know, people are the most important assets of any business. People, no matter the kind of business you do, people will always be your most important assets. And most times we overflow the, the issue of uh, being an independent person. You know, a lot of, there's a lot of uh, drama, a lot of talk out there centering around independence, person being independent. But truthfully, very, very successful entrepreneurs know that you cannot be really successful by being independent. Every country, no country in the world is truly independent. We, we are interdependent. Really good, really successful entrepreneurs are interdependent with people who understand their value, who know that they can do things on their own, but they still know that in order for them to go much more better, in order for them to grow much more faster, they need other people. They need to be interdependent. They need to work hand in hand with other people. They need to be able to inspire people to trust them, and they also need to trust other people to do things, and they need to work together with other people. So interdependence, as long as your business is not going to remain a one-man business forever, you must need to learn as an entrepreneur the value of interdependence, the value of working alongside others. If you are not a good team player, I don't see you going far with being uh, an entrepreneur because if you really want to make it big, your business can never be just about you. It's going to involve other people. And your ability to inspire those people, your ability to work with those people to communicate properly with those people your ability to communicate properly with the outside world also the people who you are providing your services or goods to is very very important it's very very important it's as important as the survival of your business because without people there will be no business so interdependence is what we're going to use to run up our first episode of the big money talk show and um, just a recap today we've spoken about Passion, we've spoken about creativity, open-mindedness, discipline, and of course, interdependence. That skill of working with other people. That skill of working, inspiring people to have a positive mindset while being team players. So that ability to 
be a team player is very, very important. A real, the real beings of the are not, they are not so buzzy. They are not so buzzy. They, they are team players. They see everyone as important. Everyone as an important factor in achieving the goals, short-term and long-term goals of the of their um, um, ventures. So, having gone this far, ladies and gentlemen, I know, I know, I know that, I know that, and I, I hope that you have learned one or two things today on the Big Money Talk Show, and that it's been worth every second of your time. Um, remember, if you're listening to this for the very first time, we're going to be here next Monday for another episode of The Money Show. And of course, next week's program promises to be much, much more, even much more exciting and educating and than today's uh, program. Please encourage every other person out there to be part of Bikilonia Radio. Download the app, share the app to your friends and follow us on social media. My name is Anat Ruchi, Green Brain. See you next week and never let the passion down. Keep the passion alive, keep the hustle alive and see you at the top. Thank you. Have a lovely rest of the day.